The distance between your outstretched arms is your height. You renew your skeleton every 10 years. Oop, time to renew! You lose around 100 hairs every day, and that's totally normal. Humans are the only creatures who sleep on their backs for a long time. Koalas, like humans, have their own unique fingerprints. In a lifetime, the average person will walk the equivalent of three times around the world. A person can have from 250 to over 1,000 hairs in each eyebrow. Your eyebrows also have a lifespan, about four months for all the hairs to fall out and be replaced by new ones. Thank goodness! Your eyes are the only organ that doesn't grow with age. Human DNA is 96% similar to a chimpanzee, 90% similar to a cat, 70% to a slug, and 50% to a banana. That has appeal! (laughs) You share 99.9% of your DNA with any random person on the planet. Your heart is the size of your fist. Your brain, two clenched fists. When you listen to music, your heartbeat syncs with its rhythm. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time, trust me on that one. There are as many nerve cells in your brain as there are stars in our galaxy, about 100 billion. The popular belief that people only use 10% of their brain power is nothing but a myth. Even when you're resting or sleeping, more than a tenth of your brain is working. You're more likely to get attracted to a person who thinks and looks the same as you. The belief that opposites attract isn't true. Your nose and ears are the only parts of your body that never stop growing. The human brain generates enough electricity to power a small light bulb. If your eye was a digital camera, it would have a resolution of 576 megapixels. Your tongue prints are also unique to you, but let's not lick the scanner. Scientists at the University of Pittsburgh found that blue and green-eyed people are less sensitive to pain than brown-eyed people. But lighter-colored eyes are more light-sensitive than dark ones. The microorganisms in the human body outnumber cells 10 to 1. I, I, I. About 6% of people can vibrate and rapidly shake their eyeballs back and forth. It doesn't mean something's not right with their eyes, it's just a unique trick they can perform. Good at parties, I suppose. Fun fact about bones. You know that your body is about 60% water, right? What's new here is that your bones are also in this too. About 25% of human bone mass is made up of water. Not all of your brain's regions are active all the time, but most work on this or that task 24-7. Every two minutes, people all over the world take more pictures than they did in the entire 19th century. However, there's nothing said about today's photos being any better. People are kind of programmed to return favors. This instinct probably developed when people needed to help one another to survive. Studies have proved that sneezing is your nose's way to reset. A sneeze reboots the cells that line the insides of your nose. They're called cilia. Sneezing is also one of the first defenses against bacteria and other, you know, unwanted stuff. When the delicate nose lining gets tickled with a foreign substance, like pollen, dirt, or dust, it sends a signal to your brain. The brain informs your body it's time to sneeze. The part of your brain that's responsible for vision is actually in the back of your head. The right side of your brain controls the vision on the left side and vice versa. Okay, put down your phone and pay attention. Multitasking is actually impossible. Your brain only allows you to switch between different tasks really fast, but not to do them at the same time. Such context switching isn't ideal either. Studies show that, in this case, people make mistakes much more often. Plus, they need twice as long as usual to do things. So, focus! There is one exception, though. When you're engaged in some physical activity you've done many times before, you can simultaneously perform a mental task. That's why you can easily walk up the stairs or take a shower and think about problems at work. Now, food tastes better when someone else has made it. That's why a sandwich from a cafe looks more appetizing, even though you use the same ingredients. One study suggests it's because it takes time to make yourself a meal, so when you're ready to dig in, you don't feel all that excited. Your body contains enough blood vessels to wrap around the planet two and a half times. You spend four months in each year asleep. In a lifetime, you rack up 26 years. Only six of those years will be spent dreaming. We forget 50% of a dream within 5 minutes of waking up. 10 minutes later, it's 90%. Each cell in your body contains 1.5 gigabytes of information. 
Do the math for your 100 trillion cells and see that you're one powerful walking computer. Your brain cools down when you yawn. Your ears work even when you're asleep, but your brain ignores the incoming information. The bumps on your tongue aren't taste buds. They're called papillae. Not all papillae contain taste buds, but those that do, that have one to five in each. The atoms in your body are 99% empty, and yet you feel full after dinner. Now, how is that? The brain grows for the first 18 years of life and then gets 5% smaller every 10 years after the age of 40. Well, that explains a lot, don't you think? We spend 10% of our waking hours with our eyes closed just from blinking. The muscles that work your fingers are actually in your forearm. Your foot is the same length as your forearm. Same ratio with your thumb and nose. Your toenails grow three times slower than your fingernails. Your lungs aren't identical. The right one has three lobes and the left one has two. Your hair grows faster when you're sleeping. The only thing that grows faster than hair is bone marrow. Your body releases enough heat in a half an hour to boil two quarts of water. Your brain uses 20% of the energy your body generates. Your body uses more energy to cool itself on hot days than to warm up when it's cold. People can go much longer without food than without sleep. Stomach acid can dissolve metal. It's so strong that the stomach has to create a new lining every 3-4 to four days. So, what's eating you? Your stomach. In terms of muscle, your tongue is like an elephant trunk and an octopus arm. That's just wrong. Your nails are made of the same stuff as a rhino's horn and a horse's hoof. And the rhino wants it back. We have nails to protect our fingertips. Without them, you wouldn't be able to grip things as well. You use 200 muscles just to take one step and 50 muscles just to use chopsticks. You use only two fingers to play chopsticks. Most people speak about 125 words per minute. The brain can process 800 in the same time. Me? I can go 185 with wing gusts up to 250. Your skin completely renews itself every 27 days. Now, you can't tickle yourself. Your brain already knows of your intentions and prepares your body for it. Humans are the only species with an outline that separates the lips from the surrounding skin. Half the bones in your body are in your feet and hands. Come on, let's share, guys! Finally, cornflakes have more genes than people do. Your cereal has 32,000. You have 20,000. Your memory is affected by your body position. For example, you're much more likely to recall a situation where you wave to someone if you stand and wave again. Your brain has millions of neurons. They're all different, and the speed of the connection between them is different too. That's why you can recall some information faster than others. The brain itself, by the way, can't feel pain. It has no nerve endings of its own. People with red-colored hair are 1% of all people. 2% are natural blondes. Yeah, most people you see with these hair colors have dyed hair. Black is the most common hair color in the world. A human eye resembles a car engine. Both of them need liquid for good lubrication. The engine needs oil, and the eye needs tears. To make sure the eyes work right, tears are distributed all over them. That's why we blink more than 10,000 times a day. Our skin is the biggest and fastest growing organ. Strong, but flexible. It's a waterproof yet breathable barrier that keeps us safe from the external world. Our skin regenerates itself. It helps with regulating body temperature and reduces water loss. This has helped us to evolve into what we are today. Our skin developed melanin, a natural pigment that blocks harmful UV radiation. Special sweat glands helped our ancestors regulate their temperature while walking long distances in unpleasant conditions. Your body has between 2 and 5 million sweat glands. The more active you are, the more sweat they produce. Your body has a mechanism to recognize it's time for you to cool off, so you can keep up with the workout. Breathing isn't only about moving the air inside and outside. It's about the way you do it, because it can literally affect your face shape. If you breathe through your nose, you'll get well-defined cheekbones over time. It will also make your face wider, because your tongue will exert force against your jaw. If you breathe through your mouth, your tongue won't have a place to rest. It will change your facial structure as time goes by. 
your face can be more narrow and your cheekbones won't be that visible. Also, if you're a mouth breather, you'd probably tend to tilt your head backwards more. This way, you increase cranial contents in the back part of your brain and directly change your entire posture, along with the shape of your neck and face. Millennials or people born between 1981 and 1996 are more forgetful than older people. The main cause of their forgetfulness comes from higher levels of stress. So hey, chill. Your left lung is smaller than the right one because it shares space with your heart. Humans don't have such big teeth as a tiger shark, or so many of them. But research says, even though sharks have teeth coated with really tough enamel, they're not stronger than ours. We have proteins that glue our teeth together to stop the entire tooth from cracking. We don't lose them, unlike sharks. Their teeth aren't attached to their gums on a root like ours. So, they approximately lose one tooth every week. Ever wondered why you have toenails? Nails are made of keratin. That's a protein you can find in fur, claws, hooves, and hair. Unlike claws, our nails are flat and wide. They shield the tips of our toes and fingers from injuries. Also, thanks to fingernails, we have a rigid backing that helps us grab and separate different objects. It would be hard to peel a sticker from the backing or pick up a jigsaw piece without nails. Apes and monkeys use their feet for similar delicate tasks as well. Scientists think that primates evolved nails to tightly grasp branches, remove ticks, and do other similar things. The human body glows in the dark, which means we're faintly bioluminescent. But that light is 1,000 times weaker than our eyes can see. Other animals will easily spot our faint light, though. Your eyes are pretty sensitive. You almost never get the chance to see how sensitive your eyes are because of all the light constantly surrounding you. Human cells are only 43% of the total cell count in your body, and the rest are microscopic colonists. That means you're mostly made up of bacteria and fungi. So basically, you're the mix of the DNA of gut microbes and your own DNA. The most abundant element in the human body is oxygen at 65%, but it also contains lithium, cobalt, gold, and uranium. The rarest one of all is radium. On average, humans yawn 20 times a day, partially spontaneously. For example, when you're tired, but sometimes when someone yawns near you. Scientists think it could be a thing called social mirroring. Usually when animals mimic others, they recognize some action as useful, so they decide to do it too. With humans, it happens when someone crosses legs, laughs, smiles at you, or yawns. Hot coffee can taste better than cold coffee. Your taste bud receptors are most sensitive when your food is at or a little bit above room temperature. Hot coffee can then seem less bitter because taste buds that detect bitterness are more sensitive when the coffee is cold. Your pinky is a powerful little thing. Without it, your hand would lose a significant part of its power. Your index and middle fingers cooperate with your thumb to grab and pinch, and your pinky, together with your ring finger, provides grip strength. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. The outer layer of your skin is thicker on your feet than on other parts of your body. The heart has its own electrical system and can continue beating even when it's disconnected from the body. The average lifespan of one eyebrow hair is four months. We spend 40% of our life with our eyes closed. Most of that time is when we're sleeping, but don't forget to count blinking too, or while driving. In an adult, the blood makes up 7-8% to of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. 
they form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper, the passage splits into the esophagus and trachea. There's a name for the growling sound your stomach makes when you're hungry. It's called barbarygmy. About one-third of all people can raise one eyebrow, left or right. It's a great way to send a playful signal to someone while telling a joke. But the ability to raise both eyebrows separately is much rarer. If you're not among them, that's because you cannot yet control and move the corresponding muscles. But this skill can be developed. Stand in front of a mirror. Hold one eyebrow with your hand and lift the other up and down. And then do the same with the other eyebrow. This will help you learn moving them separately. If you can lick your elbow easily or touch your thumb to your forearm, congratulations! You're among the minority of people, but some people bring flexibility to the next level. This condition is called hypermobility. It allows rare individuals to twist their bodies into weird positions just like a snake, putting their head between their feet, doing a back bridge, and all sorts of splits. But in some cases, hypermobility can increase sensitivity because such people have a larger medulla. This brain area is responsible for processing emotions. These fearless heroes can walk in the cold wearing only swimming trunks and feel cozy. They can stand in the snow barefoot and even swim in a river or an ice hole. Usually, this talent doesn't come naturally. People temper their bodies for years until they get used to withstanding extreme cold. Of course, they don't do it just to look cool or feel cool. Do you feel ticklish when you tickle yourself? Normally, you wouldn't unless someone else tickles you. It happens because of the cerebellum area of the brain, which monitors movements, predicts the sensations caused by your own movements. Then, it sends a signal to other parts of the nervous system to cancel these sensations. But some rare individuals can actually feel ticklish on their own. If you're not among them, touching a new texture that the brain doesn't yet recognize or using a scalp massager can help to excite your nerves and bring relaxation. Stand in front of a mirror. Open your mouth and try to roll the sides of your tongue up towards each other to make a U-shape. About 65 to 81% of people are natural tongue rollers, and the majority are women. Some believed it's a genetic capability, but recent studies showed that people can actually develop this skill by practicing. Kachari mudra is a term from yoga that means curling the tip of your tongue back into the mouth. Can you wiggle your ears intentionally? Congratulations! Around 22% of people on the earth are capable of wiggling one ear. As for moving both ears at once, only 18% can do that. Ear wiggling used to be a common thing for our distant ancestors. Scientists believe they could perform a variety of movements with their ears. The group of muscles responsible for wiggling is called the auriculars, and we mostly don't need them today. But some people claim that everyone can learn to move their ears. It only takes time and practice. Unfortunately, we still can't acquire this classy habit of twitching an ear towards a sound source as dogs and cats do. Some people even see colors as letters and numbers, or hear them. Those who live closer to the Arctic Circle can name different shades of snow because that's what they see all the time. To others, it's just white. Some languages only have general names for colors. For example, dark stands for cool hues like black, blue, and green. Colors like white, red, orange, and yellow are all called warm. Your eye processes more variations of warmer colors than cooler ones. There's a tribe in Australia who describes texture, the function of an object, and how it feels instead of its color. They don't have any names for colors at all. The Kandoshi, who live on the banks of the Amazon River in Peru, don't have a word that would describe the very concept of color. Instead, the name of some yellow bird will be used to describe the yellow color. Any ripe fruit will stand for red, and unripe fruit for dark green. A lot of people lose their ability to perceive some colors as they get older. 
By around the age of 70, their eye lenses become yellowish. This natural yellow filter they look through doesn't let them tell blue from purple and yellow from green. Half of your brain is hardwired to process visual information. A much smaller part is left to perceive flavor. That's why the color of food or drink can boost or curb your appetite. You'll always choose the reddest apple because your brain perceives it as the sweetest and ripest. There are no naturally blue foods, so you're least attracted to them and can even fear them. That's why installing a blue light in your fridge or eating from blue plates is a great way to eat less. You'll always choose brighter foods and vegetables because they're associated with a richer flavor. Eating them makes you feel healthier and happier. Yellow can boost your appetite as you associate it with energy and excitement. White can trick you into eating more and paying less attention to what you're munching on. That's because white food seems more harmless in terms of calories. If you eat from a white plate, you're more likely to overeat as it makes your food look brighter. Your brain also remembers the color of food wrapping. If you put salt and vinegar chips into a cheese and onion package, you might not even notice the difference in flavor while snacking on them. Food companies know that you'll eat more of whatever they're selling when it comes in different colors and flavors. Red gives you courage and strength for physical work. Yellow makes you happier and more productive and confident. Green brings balance and harmony to the office environment. Your eyes also love this color. They don't need time to adjust to it. Orange gives you a sense of comfort and warmth, so it's perfect for an office lounge. Birds, fish, and many mammals see the entire color spectrum in all its glory, just like humans. For some animals, good color vision is crucial. Without it, they won't tell ripe fruit from unripe green fruit. Whenever we yawn, we use the muscles in our mouth and tongue, and the contact can squeeze some of the saliva-producing glands. As a result, we might squirt a tiny stream of saliva without even noticing it. I had a friend in college who could do it at will. It was impressive. It turns out that saliva is basically filtered blood. Blood is processed thanks to special glands, and special cells absorb its properties. After that, the blood becomes saliva. People with red-colored hair are 1% of all people. 2% are natural blondes. Yeah, most people you see with these hair colors have dyed hair. Black is the most common hair color in the world. Your memory is affected by your body position. For example, you're much more likely to recall a situation where you wave to someone if you stand and wave again. Most scientists agree that tears that appear out of emotion are a unique human feature. No other animal is capable of crying because of sadness or joy. The pupils narrow and expand in order to control the incoming light. If there's a lot of light, they narrow the passage for light so as not to harm the vision. In the dark, the pupils expand to capture as much light as possible. The tongue has a lot of muscles, and some of them can strain only when you're learning a new language. A human bite almost always becomes infected because of all the bacteria that live in our mouth. In this sense, we're quite close to hyenas. Your bones are designed to be used a lot daily, and some of them can absorb two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still stays one of the dirtiest parts of the human body. Ugh! Millions of bacteria live inside it. The good news is that most of these bacteria are good for the body and protect it from bad bacteria and viruses. In the morning, you're taller than in the evening. While sleeping, you're no longer affected by the force of gravity and your spine stretches. Too bad you become shorter by daytime, though. A roller coaster actually tosses your organs around, so you feel like your stomach's falling down. It's actually flipping inside your body. You think your fingerprints are the only unique thing in your body? Well, they're not. Your tongue print and your smell are also one of a kind. If anyone sniffs you, it's reason enough to get suspicious. If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, boy, that would hurt, but it would go around the earth more than twice. An impressive feat that you wouldn't see because, well, you can't live without your blood vessels. 
toothache and headache are linked together thanks to the trigeminal nerve. It goes through the jaw right to the head, so that when you feel tooth pain, it usually goes hand in hand with that in your head. You lose calories doing literally anything. A healthy 8-hour sleep, for example, makes you lose up to 800 calories. And yes, you spend energy even while eating. A person can go without food for more than 20 days. However, if you don't sleep for 10 days, your body will simply stop functioning. Talking about sleep, the average person forgets 90% of their dreams. And maybe that's a good thing. Otherwise, imagine how crazy the world would have been. The color of your dreams is affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If you're of an older generation that watched black and white TV, you'll see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams will also be colorful. Out of every 10,000 people on Earth, one person has their organs mirrored or reversed from their usual and customary positions. That is, their liver would be larger on the left side and the kidney would be a bit superior to the left one. People with light-colored eyes, blue or green, are better at tolerating pain than those with dark eyes. Scientists think it might be related to melanin that affects the color of the eyes. The length of your foot is similar to that of your forearm. Don't believe me? Go check. I'll wait right here. Nah. We have seven major holes in our bodies. Our mouths, our ears, nose, eyes, and our, you know, down under. Hey, we're Australian. G'day, Mike. We're also a Taurus, if you dig geometry. A human ring, a donut, a life buoy, or even a bagel. Mmm, bagel. Don't forget the schmear. Seriously, counting the pores in your skin and the rest, there'd be millions of holes though. Trillions more likely. Holy cow, we're holy! Bodies throw thermal radiation off as a tiny amount of light. This light is 1,000 times less visible than normal light, so you're not a torch yet. Breathe in deep through your nose. Air only goes up one nostril at a time, and our nostrils take turns at it. Sharing is caring. Our brains tell us when our bodies hurt, but they can't feel pain themselves. There are no pain receptors in the brain. That feeling of your stomach rising is what actually happens. Hold on. Every human has a unique smell except for identical twins. They share the same DNA and the same smell. Our fingerprints aren't just for identifying us to the police if we've done something wrong. The ridges allow our skin to stretch to prevent damage and improve our sense of touch. When you're scared, you can become a lot stronger than you were before. Maybe not lift a car strong, but you won't feel pain or fatigue as quickly.